Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Mr. T Show. All aboard! Here we go. Let's start the show. Hosted by Mr. T. Nintendo video games are the favorite ones for me. News and review some gameplay too. Battling drones is what I do. M-I-Z. Z-A-H is the show of Mr. T. It's the show of Mr. T. Ooh. Hello, everyone. I'm Mr. T of the Mr. T Show, here to deliver my impressions on Nintendo's latest Direct directly to you. Please understand, going forward, the Pretendo Direct will be focused on my direct impressions on the latest presentation from Nintendo. I made a comment on Shokyo's pre-direct video. Basically, my comment stated, this is the first Direct I'm actually hyped for. I'll elaborate on why I was hyped in a minute. But I would like to speak on the infighting, if you will, as a result of Nintendo fans' varying opinions that has led to some back and forth video responses based on direct or indirect commentator callouts. Please understand, opinions clash. As long as we can be civil in our discourse and refrain from resorting to emotional attacks, then it's all good. I left a comment also on Butterworthy's video addressing the Nintendo community's apparent freakout over the direct. And my comment says that I share in Jamie's sentiment about the direct. Now, Mr. T was referring to Jamie's feelings about the actual direct. He seemed to be pleased with the direct for the most part, barring a few issues, and so was I. Nintendo said beforehand that the focus would be on spring titles for Wii U and 3DS, and that's what we got. Although I would have liked more info on Mario Kart 8, like details on Mario TV, but I also realized that the game is still roughly three months away and will likely get its own Focus Direct with at least one other Nintendo Direct, if not two, before the game launches. And I expected to see more X and Bayonetta 2 footage because of the tweets related to the game beforehand. And as far as getting more in-depth details on those games, there's plenty of time for that as well, as the games still don't have solid release dates. And speaking of release dates, I realized that many Nintendo fans were expecting to get some solid release dates on some of these games that they showed. But obviously we didn't. While Nintendo expects these games will come out in 2014, they are still in a development process and are uncertain enough to give a solid date. I would rather that be the case and not get a release date that ultimately gets pushed back again and again, which is something that Nintendo has done in the past and has been ridiculed for. So I believe they're taking a more careful approach this time so they don't have to give us even more please understands. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Bayonetta 2 and Monolith Soft's X will launch sometime after Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Which means we have plenty of time for details for both of those games before they're released. So that is fine with me. So yeah, they show more Bayonetta 2, Smash Brothers, and Monolith Soft X. And yes, those games aren't coming out in spring. But the thing is, we've known about these games for over a year. So no surprise, they would show more of them here since they hinted that they would in tweets, as I said before. If they had new games to show or tease, I'm sure they would have. Some Nintendo fans seem to feel like Nintendo is purposely trolling them. <laughs> Fools, when they have something compelling to show us, they will show us. Or would you rather have them create another cheap ass graphic teaser like they did for Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem? And then, and you can sit around and crap a new info on it for two years. Remember how hyped the entire gaming community was after watching the first footage of Watch Dogs? Still hype? <laughs> and I'm not just talking about Wii U fans. Seems the industry and media has mostly moved on from that game. But yes, that could change. The Direct was 3DS heavy, and that seemed to upset quite a few fools. Mr. T would have liked a bit more balance in the form of more details, as I mentioned before, but whatevs. I understand why they focus on the 3DS so much, but I don't understand why some of you fools don't. We do realize that the 3DS is where Nintendo is making most of its money. Many of you fools like to think that the 3DS is fine. It's an unmitigated success and could be put on cruise control. Why is that? 3DS is not out of the woods yet, fools. Just because it has a 45 million install base. Case in point, it didn't meet projections and the US install base 
is lagging behind the much smaller Japanese market. In light of all the competition the 3DS is getting from other handhelds, mobile and tablets, it's selling underwhelmingly, believe it or not. And even with that install base and perceived momentum, it doesn't have a ton of third party support, leaving Nintendo to carry the load. Did you know that the 3DS has barely 2% pledge support from developers? Meanwhile, the PlayStation Vita had 7.5% support. Yeah, that's right, the Vita. Install base be damned. Seems the industry doesn't care about 3DS install base, so that excuse is invalid. Nintendo is basically carrying their home console and their handheld on their own. But anyway, the myth that the 3DS is momentous and safe simply ain't true. The handheld market is not nearly as strong as it used to be. So Nintendo will and should continue to focus on that system that makes up the bulk of their money and keeps them in the green until the Wii U production costs go down and the Wii U system sellers are ready. 3DS momentum is very fragile. And just like in sports, momentum can change like that. And when you have momentum, you don't say, all right, we're good over here now. We can relax and change focus. Hell no. You put your foot on the gas and keep it there. One of my unsung YouTube mentors in this gaming community, Jodeci Dion, explains it in better detail in his last video on the NPD. A link to that video is below, and I implore you 3DS's fine thinkers especially to watch it. And like I said, with little third-party support, Nintendo's own development teams will have to carry the load with some help from the indie titles. Now moving back to the Nintendo Direct itself. I look at the Nintendo Direct as a video newsletter to customers. Nintendo Directs aren't advertisements or commercials to entice people who don't own a Nintendo system to buy one. I don't know why some seem to think it was going to be a video referendum on Nintendo's investor meeting. That was info for investors so they can feel better about the direction of Nintendo. When Nintendo starts making videos for customers focusing on the direction of the company, they might as well pack it up. They might as well close up shop. I can't help but think some Nintendo fans go into these directs looking for ammunition to brag to other fanboys. Insecure vaginas. Just play your game, fools. And when they don't get that, they get upset. I'm not talking to all Nintendo fans, but I feel like some of you fools are. Show me the games if you have them. Save the hype and hyperbole for E3. Little Mac and the Smash Brothers trailer reveal was a surprise and gave me goosebumps. Literally. I was simply smiling from ear to ear. And the Koopalins, all of them playable in Mario Kart 8? That is just awesome fools. And I'm also super hyped about indies on the Wii U and 3DS more than I am for the next big shooter third party multiplat, but that's just me. I've said as much on Miiverse and many fools seem to agree. The directs could benefit from better editing. They sometimes feel disjointed and the pacing is all over the place. Nintendo could benefit from Mr. T's editing and creative direction. <laughs> fools, I think they have interns editing those videos. That's what I did for my internship. I edited promos for an online sports show. I've seen some of the promos recently for that sports show and I can tell you this, Mr. T did it way better. <laughs> Fools. So the editing of the Nintendo Direct and want some more details on upcoming games they showed are my only real gripes. I didn't look at the Direct as the, oh my God, the Nintendo sky is falling and they have to fix everything and show us immediately in this do or die Nintendo Direct, like some seem to. But my hype was self-inflicted and came from no outside source. It was my hope that since they surprised us a year ago with X, that they might again surprise us with a hint of Miyamoto's new game or some details on the new style of games that I watch a hint of that that are coming out for the Wii U. Cause that is what gets Mr. T hype for the industry. New, fun, and unique ways to game. I was maybe hoping for some more info on the first dual gamepad games or NFC games, but oh well, not this time. I can wait. Mrs. T often says that I'm patient to a fault. She says my patience is one of my greatest assets and is why I'm such a great husband and father. Now ain't that sweet. <laughs> Fools. So I'm good for now. I'm going to be showcasing indie titles that I'm really hyped for coming to the Wii U. They should not be slept on. Well, those are my thoughts, fools. Feel free to share your impressions below or your impressions of my impressions. Or perhaps you can just cry and bleed over my onions. Sounds delicious. <laughs> fools, that concludes this Pretendo Direct. Domo arigato, fools. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo, fools.